Today I'm flying from Vancouver, Canada to Phuket, Thailand, and I'm going to show you what it's really like to travel in 2022. But first, let's start from the beginning. Two years ago, our family was supposed to go on a world trip during my dad's sabbatical. We started in London, England, but of course, due to COVID, all our plans changed. We had to leave London in March 2020, just as the pandemic was starting, and we were on one of the last flights back to Canada. Now, nearly two years later, we're giving this trip another shot, and for the next four months, we'll be traveling through four countries all across Southeast Asia. As we all know, traveling has drastically changed since before the pandemic, so there are a few things we have to get out of the way first. Passports, flights, visas, vaccinations, accommodation, COVID tests, and insurance. I'll go over all of these in detail later in the video. And then, we were off to the airport. On our way to the airport! We are at the airport. Nisiatova, have a fantastic trip, you guys. walking through the airport right now and it is surprisingly empty. There were actually quite a few people but it's pretty empty compared to normal. And we had so many things that we had to show the check-in. Passports, insurance, hotel room, um, COVID tests, Thailand pass. So far everything has been going smoothly in the airport. We got past check-in and security. There are a lot of documents you have to get just to make it past check-in. One thing to keep in mind is that you do have to wear your mask at all times in the airport and on the flight, except when you're eating or drinking. We're boarding. This is it. On the plane now. Whew. Going to Singapore. Yeah. Good morning from the Singapore airport. We just checked out of our hotel and we have about seven hours to explore this airport. We're walking through the water lily garden in the Singapore airport. We're walking at the water lily garden. Singapore Airport is widely known as the best airport in the world, featuring a waterfall, indoor rainforest, lots of gardens, shopping, and food. Unfortunately, since we're only transiting through the airport, we couldn't go to the Jewel, which is where the waterfall is, but there's still plenty to do in the terminals. Right now, we're sitting next to this glass art display behind me, and Hi. we're at Terminal 3. And now we are heading to the Cactus Garden. So now to answer the question of what it's really like to travel in 2022. Well, it's different for sure, but travel is slowly coming back and it's definitely a lot more doable now than it was about a year ago. There were still quite a lot of things we had to do for our flight to Thailand. So the first thing we had to do was apply for the Thailand Pass and Test and Go. This was Thailand's system for safely opening up tourism in the country. We also needed to show the airline proof of accommodation, vaccine certificates, and COVID insurance worth at least 50,000 US dollars. Although we didn't need to quarantine for multiple days like you did in a lot of other countries, we did have to stay at an SHA approved hotel for the first five days and test on day one and day five in Thailand. When we arrived in Phuket, we had to COVID test at the airport before a transport car took us directly to our hotel. Then after a really long check-in process, we had to quarantine in the rooms until we got our COVID test results back the next morning. After that, we were free to explore and the only other thing we had to do was test again on day five, but this time we didn't have to quarantine while waiting for the results. Now that may sound like a lot, but don't let it discourage you from traveling because after those first five days, it was 100% worth it. And as of the release of this video, there are even less rules than ever, and all you need is a COVID vaccine certificate or a negative PCR or professionally administered antigen test. Arrived in Thailand.
first breakfast in Thailand.